Hi, welcome back to Shirley DIY Designs. This is a copy of my children's book, The Greedy Aphids in Ellie Blackberry Garden. Stop by Amazon.com and pick up a copy and support me on my writing. I have a second book coming out soon. And today I'm showing you this hall bathroom that I have three teenagers sharing. And I'm going to make this bathroom over for them because when we moved in this house, we really didn't do anything to this bathroom as in decorating. So today I'm going to be cleaning it up and sharing with you the different things that I have done throughout making over the bathroom. And first off, I started to clean the bathroom to apply the contact paper. I used this chlorina I got from Aldi's. It's a bleach cleaner and it really cleans and sanitizes the bathroom for me. And then I go by behind it with the 24 hour micro band multiple purpose spray to keep the bathroom clean and germ free for 24 hours each day. I come in or the children, one of the teenagers will come in and they'll do the same thing that I'm doing. But they always spray the chlorine after they get through showering, take a bath, it's because it keeps the bathroom clean. It really works guys, it's only 150 a bottle. And I love this product. This product, it cleans really well. You spray your shower down and you come back and you, it's clean. And that's the Microband 24 that I use. It's a multi-purpose spray, but it cleans and sanitizes and keeps the germs down for 24 hours. So this is a video that I made on when I put the contact paper down. Just look at my links on how I made over the countertops. And you can watch this full video on how I applied the contact paper. It came out beautiful, guys. And also, this is the light fixture that I made over for the bathroom. And you can also find this video in the link also. If you want to see how I completely made over this light fixture. I sanded it down really well. And then I took this matte spray paint and put like five coats on it because I want it to be covered really well and hopefully it'll keep it from rusting again but you can also look in the video link and see the makeover it came out very beautiful here I'm adding knobs to the cabinet but I wiped down the cabinets really well and then I put a, a glazed coat a uh, clear uh, spray paint over it just to purple up the wood to make it look really nice. And I have these crystal bathroom knobs that I'm going to apply to the cabinets doors. And here you see me measuring off. I'm really measuring y'all because I wanted these to be exactly the same and I wanted them to be level. And this little tool I'm using, it has a tape measure, it has a lever on it and that's why I'm using it. So I felt that it was very important that the knobs are perfectly lined up. So, like I said, I measured, I checked the level of it <laughs> to make sure everything was good to go before I drill my holes. I put some tape over it when I got ready to drill the holes because I didn't know how this wood on this cabinet will react. And I didn't want it to split, so that's why I used the blue painter tape somewhere before I drilled them. And these are the crystal knobs that I'm using. I got a bag of them from Amazon. They wasn't very expensive at all. They're very affordable. 
and I'm playing them on it so that now the kids can have some knobs to open and close their cabinet door. And here I'm measuring to put my tie bikes on for my curtains that I'm applying, decorating the bathroom with. And I'm measuring out how high I want them. And that's how they look. They have a little crystal on them too. That's why I kind of went with the crystal nails on the cabinet because my tie bikes also had the little crystal nails. And I got those from Amazon and they was very affordable also. So here I, I drill my hole and I'm putting my anchor in. And this is the little anchor nail that goes inside. And these things are not easy to screw in. I'm telling you, I had to get some pliers and turn and twist and turn until I finally get it on. And now I'm applying the um, tie bite. Okay. Now I'm, I'm also measured in doing the same thing to the other side for the tie bite. This is the rod that was been up in this bathroom, probably since the house was built. I took it outside, I sanded it down, and I spray painted it gold. I am very short, so don't laugh at me, please, because I am only 4'11". So I having to get up and down on this little stool to try to place this rod shower rod up here for the shower curtain and i can balance really well so yeah <laughs> as you can see and i got it up yay me and this is the other curtain rod it's a nautica home Kurt Rod for the shower and I got it from Burlington and I paid $14.99 for it and this is the shower curtain I picked up from Dee Dee's for $4.99 and it's a soft gray plastic one I really like that one and these uh, hooks I hate these hooks they are so tight on the curtain rod I'm, I will be replacing these hooks. I will replace them. I wish I would have thrown away the packages to them. And I had paid $4.99 from Burlington for those. And I hate I got them. I hate them. Don't buy those. I hate them. So, I will be purchasing some more and replacing those. And as you see, I'm fighting with them because they are hard to go on this rod. It's like they're not big enough. They're gone, but it's hard to slide them back and forth. And my kids are hating them. <laughs> so I will be, we'll be changing them out in the very near future. And you will see that. I will show you the ones that i probably going to make some. DIY some. Get some from Dollar Tree and DIY. 
and I will show I will I will do a, a video on it and let you see it and that's to come I like this shower curtain because it has this like a smoky gray to it but it's let the light shine through from the window um that's over the shower and it's not too dark so i really like it and i like the it feels soft it's not like those cheap um shower curtains you get from like dollar crazy or uh, actually some that you pay a lot of money for they stiff and hard this one is very soft it's a soft plastic and i really like it it's more like a vinyl plastic and here is my shower curtain. I paid $14.99 from Burlington. I like them. They are white. And they have this little design on them. Little puffy little stuff. And this is my shower caddy. I got it also from Burlington for $8.99. This is the one we had up here. It was just a Dollar Tree eight, um, caddy. It wasn't big enough to hold anything really but some soap. Bars of soap and to wash cloth maybe and but the teenagers they really didn't like it because they like their body wash and i decided to go ahead and buy them a, a nice one and stop torturing them with this dollar tree <laughs> caddy that's sitting up there just the whole soap and two wash cloth and i really like this one because it has suction cups on the bottom to really um, give support so it can hold the large bottles pump of Dove body wash and large bottles of shampoos and conditioner and I like how big and spacious it is and they uh, also can wa hang the washcloth on them if they like and this is the shower curtain rod that I have bought from Burlington I really like it I like the design on it Yep, I, dro I almost dropped the ball off it, but I caught it. It didn't hit the floor. And I'm glad it didn't because we have this tile floor in the bathroom. It would probably would have broke. And here I am, tempting, for you laughing, tempting to plot, put this sun curtain rod up. My son had put it up early, so I guess, yeah, it looked far up. But um, that was just a test thing. And... Like I say, I'm on a step stool. I kind of tall one, but as you see, I'm still struggling to reach up because I'm only 411. Remind you. But I got it up. I got it up. I purchased these mirror trays. I had got them from Aldi's. They had a sale on them. I think it was like on sale for $5.99. And I bought like three or four of them and I just had them laying, put them around the house. So I was like, this would be work perfect on the back of the toilet bowl. And I could put their flushable wipes up there. My family love flushable wipes. And a live plant that I had. I love plants. I have them a lot through my house. And I felt that like this one will fit perfect there. And then I have another mirror tray my husband got from, he gave me this a while back. He, when he worked with Waste Pro from his recycle route. So I clean it up and I was like, that's very perfect. And I clean it up. It has a mirror in the bottom of it also. So I bought these um, two brush holder and soap holder for $7.99 from Dee's. And I felt that they was work perfect in there. So I set those on there. And I added um, some um, um, paper towels to dry your hands on it. 
and but I went to bike to Dee Dee's, me and my daughter, and I found this um, flower. And the flower is a it's a, a, a fragrance. So it's a liquid fragrance going to jar, and it, the flowers they soak it up, and it and it put out the fragrance. Here I'm cleaning up the mirrors, make sure the mirrors are clean, and. I think I paid $4.99 for it, and it's a uh, Poenis flower, and the smell is so wonderful. They, now that the bathroom is so beautiful, they leave the door open. The fragrance comes all out the bathroom, down the hallway, and into the game room. And here I purchased these um, bath mats from Burlington. I spurged a little bit on those. It was $17.99 for two. They are wonderful. They don't move. They absorb the water. I've been checking. They they work really well. So I can understand why they ask $17.99. It was worth it for those. And this is the flower I was telling you about. It's a fragrance flower. It's called Peony. And it smells so good. I paid $5.99 for it. I paid $5.99 also for this gold toilet brush cleaner from Diddy's. And then I purchased an over the door hooks for $4.99 and they also came from Diddy's and I felt that they can hang their towers on it it has enough um, holders on it and I got this trash can for $5 from Five Below and I decorated it out with some bling wrap and here um, I have purchased these towers on Walmart and then I got the hand towels from Burlington and these little bling ornaments right here I got those from Dollar Tree and they cost me a dollar for two and they was, they was in the hair section for you to put on your hair but I figured that I could use them in as tie bags or hold bags for my hand towels my hand towel is $3.99 from um Burlington and they had thankful, grateful, and blessed. I wish they would have had the towels to match them, but they didn't. So I like them and I like scriptures and thankful and blessful things. It make me happy. And here I added some rose spray for the bathroom foam. And these baskets, they were black. And I took them outside and I spray painted them gold. And I was like, this would be perfect to house their washcloth then. So this is the overlook and stay tuned for part two because I haven't finished it out but this is how much I have done so far and I hope you appreciate um, this video and like and share it and subscribe to my channel. There's update coming on the bathroom as I complete it. I have to also put the bling wrap around the mirror. So thank you for watching and God bless. Thank <laughs> you.